Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you Far Cry 2 and the best settings and some gameplay. Okay, so first of all, I'm using an Xbox controller just so I can record the screen. But if you're using the built in controls on your Steam Deck, you can use them. You just got to make sure you just go to your library, Far Cry 2, go to the controller icon, and for you, go to Steam Deck, go to here, go to Community Layers, and go for bless the actually no sorry not that one that works for the most part but there's a few things that map that don't work if you scroll down you want to go to far cry 2 steam deck by moo cow you won't be able to navigate the menu as easily as you would with like the top one you'll have to use like the right analog stick or the the, the right touchpad to use it as a mouse but that's fine okay so that's all good for this uh, obviously I'm using a controller hence why I've got the controller on configured as well but just so just so you know that's the best configuration to use for controlling okay in terms of settings you can achieve 30 and you can achieve 60 to achieve 30 it's really simple you just go to display and literally turn everything on max max res max anti-aliasing so you put at 8x so let me show you that, 8x, and we'll put overall to ultra high, just make sure everything is on, you know, the highest setting, and there we go, okay, so we can select white screen as well. There we go. Okay, so that's all good. You you know, we'll get a pretty nice frame right now. So if we go off. So what you want to do, you want to cap it. So let's cap it right now. And ignore that. I had this uh, on before. You don't actually need that. And so let's just cap it to 30. There we go. It's capped to 30. And here we go. And you will get the occasional drop and to alleviate that all you got to do and this is what i recommend some people i know a friend of mine doesn't mind playing it with the occasional drop but i personally prefer just knock it down to 2x anti-aliasing and you'll be all good to go and obviously you can shoot you know it's all good uh and i've tested this this works fine but let me show you how i recommend playing it in 60 frames per second so to do 60 go options go to display native resolution anti-aliasing at 2x it does help for the jagged edges and for overall just put it at very high that's it you do that and we'll unlock the frame rate in the steam menu in a second well it's still set to 30 you do that you'll get a nice smooth 60 and look how smooth it runs like you see the smoke effect you can shoot like it's just works great and uh, you may potentially get the odd frame rate drop if you do you c like in my eyes it's it was more than livable more than playable uh, but you can you know turn some of these down like turn shading down to high that'll help a lot turn textures down to high and turn shadow down to high but that's if you feel like you're experiencing it or if you do want you know to use lower power for example and you can also do it at stuff like 45 frames as well so let's get going and let's show you some gameplay so yeah so this is obviously an old game this was at wow i want to say I was at college, so I'm gonna say about 09 this was out. And so one of the reasons it's obviously not you can't really at max settings, it's because of how open world it is. It is super open world. So you see the, the odd frame rate drop here there, but in my eyes it's more than playable. You could cap here 55, maybe even 50, and, and get a fine experience. But as you can see, you look around and it's all good. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. And I will be doing videos 
for stuff like Far Cry 3 as well and the other Far Cry's so feel free to wait for them and check them out as well it's fantastic you know I I love Far Cry 2 back in the day it did get repetitive it did get boring but I mean it's something that I've been meaning to play over the years because I never completed it I played most of the game but it never finished it so it's always something I was saying I always said to myself I will get back to it. I always will get back to it. And this is a great excuse to play some of the older games that I just haven't completed. See if there's any resources here that I can use. Okay, so let's use the machine gun. And let's mow down some vegetation. So obviously this was coming off the back of, you know, Crisis, even though it was a different studio now. It was, you know, Ubisoft doing it with the Dunia engine instead of the Cry engine. It was still based off some of the Cry engine code and they have modified that. And why there are a lot of, going back, a lot of similarities in terms of the jungle environment and in terms of what they're trying to achieve. Because obviously Far Cry to Crisis, then Crisis kind of as an offshoot with a different studio and a different like publisher to, you know, Far Cry 2. And obviously everyone's going to be comparing this, so hence why I think the reality is Crisis is the reason Far Cry has stayed the way it is, in my opinion. Not Far Cry 1, I'd say it's because of Crisis. Trying to figure out the map on. I just use the Steam controls there. There we go. Okay, so map it's saying. Ah, I won't mark anything. I don't need to mark anything. He really wants me to mark stuff, doesn't it? Man, this is so sensitive. Let me tone tone down the sensitivity. remember how to do the heel thing Repair a vehicle, and that's all you need. The wrench, and you just do this. 
Never knew being a mechanic was so easy. Let's try again. Should hopefully be a bit less rusty. There you go, so you can see explosion, still good frame rate, a bit of a drop. In my eyes, it's more than playable. So good to play on the Xbox controller. If you're playing it on the built-in Steam Deck controller, honestly, you have no issues. But yeah, as you can see, it's really smooth. Oh, end the video here because I'm clearly doing super bad <laughs> at Far Cry 2, and clearly not showing how much of a fan I am. But yeah, that's it. That's Far Cry 2. As you can see, you can run your 30 frames per second. It's maxi out two x anti aliasing. If you want to run your 60 frames per second, it's my recommendation. Knock it down to very high two x anti aliasing native resolution. The, the odd occasional frame rate drop in my eyes is not enough to deter the experience if you want to get rid of that like i said just knock down shading and shadows and textures to just like high and you'll be you'll have a nice experience so that's it that's far cry 2 if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and post in the comments what other videos or the steam deck gameplay and benchmarks you would like to see more come in soon and there's also a link in the description to the compatibility list I'm applying with all the recommended settings as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.